What's up dolls and welcome back to the channel or if you're new here, welcome. So it's I'm back with another speed build and this time I'm building something a little bit more on the modern side. Um, I haven't really done that many modern builds lately and um, I actually can't even remember the last time I did a modern build so I guess it was about time. Uh, so I'm building a modern house today and I'm building this in Oasis Springs and I actually forget what the neighborhood is called. Uh, I think it's the bottom right neighborhood but I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> My memory is seriously so bad guys because I, I built this yesterday but I cannot remember which neighborhood. Uh, it's the one with all the like mid-century modern houses that I know. Um, so yeah, built in Oasis Springs on a 30 by 20, I think this is. Maybe <laughs> you can see all the details on the gallery anyway. Uh, so it is a two-story, two-bedroom, three-bath. And um, um, I guess it's it's a fairly small house. It does look a lot bigger than it is. Um, I tried to fit three bedrooms in, but I really couldn't. I guess you could fit another bedroom in the garage if you wanted to, but... I, I feel like that's a little bit strange. So I could only really fit two bedrooms in. I guess this is a little bit of a starter house, maybe. I mean, it, it is too pricey to be an actual starter. Not really sure how much this ended up as. I think maybe like 70k or so. So it's kind of pricey. But for the size, it's, it's kind of a starter, I guess. <laughs> Unless you have small families, then it's the perfect size, you know. Uh, so it is actually a lot smaller than it looks. So the bottom floor is completely open planned. So you got the um, kitchen, living room, and dining room all in one. And then upstairs you got all the bedrooms. So you got two bedrooms up there and en suites. All the bedrooms, or <laughs> both the bedrooms have their own en suite. And then you also got a family bathroom downstairs. So um, yeah, that's kind of the layout and um, I'm not really sure if you can tell I did cut a lot of this out, but I did struggle a ton with the wallpaper for this house. Uh, I was going to make it completely different. This house ended up a lot darker than I was going to make it at first, uh, but I really like it and the, these wallpapers like combined with um, the roof, the dark roof kind of gives it a little bit of that mid-century modern vibe. Not really sure if that's correct. I don't know much about mid-century modern, but that's the vibe that I get from this house anyway. And uh, I also struggle a ton finding windows that I liked for this house. I also cut that up because I was <laughs> I was picking windows forever. Uh, I ended up with the windows from Island Living and I did something that I've done in some of my previous builds as well. Uh, I actually stack two different windows on top of each other because I wanted big modern windows for this house since it's a modern build. But I also didn't want like everyone to be able to see and you know, I wanted some privacy. So I stacked these two windows on top of each other so you get kind of something blocking the view a little bit, giving a little bit more of a privacy, but you still have modern big windows, you know, lots of natural light and all that. So really like stacking these two windows. I think it looks really good. And I also used some windows for the front here from, what's the pack called? Uh, Get Famous. And uh, I gotta say this house, by the way, is heavily inspired by a house I found on Google that I really liked and wanted to build in The Sims. But as I was Googling for inspiration, I found so many cool looking modern houses that really inspired me so I might do more more modern houses guys <laughs> don't be surprised if you see a lot more modern houses from me it's something I don't do that often like I like my more traditional suburban houses but I feel really inspired doing more modern houses I hope you guys are cool with that um so yeah this house is it kind of exists in real life i did some changes to make it look good in the sims but it is very inspired by a real life house and i am very inspired by all the houses i saw on google so i don't know do you guys want to see more modern houses because i kind of want to do more uh <laughs> i did save a ton a ton of inspiration from google um so yeah <laughs> On to, we we're kind of done with the exterior now, so on to the landscaping. Again, I was really like indecisive here. I have spent a lot of time um, picking plants. I don't know. 
I don't know you guys, but I did cut a lot of that out. But I do show you all of the landscaping, but all my indecisiveness is cut out. I swear. I'm like the most indecisive person I know. So, yeah, I don't know. I did really enjoy the landscaping for this house, though. Like, I think it ended up really cool. I really like these, like, uh, dark rocks and the contrast with, like, the orange sand if you know what I mean I really like the contrast all of the contrasts in this house both like with the exterior and the landscaping and it looks really cool not my personal style but I think this house ended up pretty cool um so yeah let me know if you want to see more modern houses because I actually had a lot more fun with this than I thought I would uh the only problem I have with like modern houses though is that there's no like really good neighborhood to build them in I feel like mm, I always build my modern houses in Oasis Springs because I feel like all of, you know all of the neighborhoods they have like background houses so you see all these houses in the background and um, they all have different styles depending on which neighborhood you're in but there is not really a neighborhood that has like modern background houses that I know of so it's really hard finding a good place to play modern houses. I don't know if that's just me, but I, I don't know. Most of the, or all of the neighborhoods are really like traditional looking. So I don't know. It kind of feels a little bit out of place when you play the modern house in the middle of a very suburban street, if you know what I mean. So that's my only issue. I wish we would get like a neighborhood that is very like modern, filled with modern background houses that would make sense so that is something I hope we go to see but yeah um pretty much done with the exterior now and the landscaping uh, I did change a little bit with the roof here and um I think I just uh, <laughs> landscape uh, I think I just paint a little bit yeah I'm done with landscaping I just put some train paint on and now we are moving on to the interior and this entire first floor is open plan as I said except for the bathroom of course and also the garage so you could as I said before put another bedroom in the garage if you wanted to or make it into a hobby room or whatever you whatever you want uh, I kind of left the garage open or empty as always because I feel like that makes sense <laughs> you're supposed to have a car in there uh, but as you can see the garage kind of it ended up a little bit smaller than I thought it would, you know, so it's kind of awkward anyway, but yeah, you can do whatever you want in that room, but the rest of the first floor is open plan. And uh, as always with my more modern builds, I do tend to go for a more minimalistic style for the interior. Uh, I feel like that makes sense. Most modern houses tend to be decorated in a very minimalistic way so that is what I went for so do not expect a lot of clutter because there ain't none <laughs> this is not the build for clutter so uh, very minimalistic and the color theme is very dark I do really I don't know why <laughs> but I tend to really go for dark interiors for my modern builds I know a lot of people go for very light color themes but I just really love dark interiors uh dark wooden floors and dark kitchens like black kitchens look so nice i wish i had a black kitchen although my kitchen is very small so i feel like that would make the room look even smaller but i really really like the look of it so going for a very dark color theme um i do add some bits and pieces that are lighter to add some contrast but it's a very dark color theme and i really love it and as I said, very minimal. And um, the bedrooms, though, they are a little bit brighter and has they do have some uh, more color in them. Um, I do add colorful wallpaper. <laughs> Not that colorful, but it's a bit of a pop of color anyway. And uh, I think that's about all that I had to say about this build. So I'm going to leave you guys here with some music for the rest of it. We're almost done anyway, so gonna leave you guys here i really hope you guys enjoyed this build if you did please leave this video a big big thumbs up i would really appreciate it and if you want to download this house as always you can find it on the gallery by searching for my username cyberdollyt or you can find it under the hashtags cyberdoll and cyberdollyt and as always have the move objects 
cheat on before you place this. I didn't use it that much in this bill, but just to be certain, have that on so things don't go flying all, all over the place. Anyway, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you all so very much and I'll see you in my next video. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. Oh, you